Hi guys, one of the common pattern in Power Apps applications is you have one screen which has the overview of your data and when you click on any particular item, you go to the detail. So for example, in this sample app, you have list of vacations which are coming up for your team. When you click on the second item, it shows you vacation detail for Jason. When you click on the first item, it shows you vacation detail for Sam third item for neat and so on. So uh, how do you accomplish it? Uh, there's one very simple way. Uh, let me tell you about that first. And there's an alternative uh, alternative way as well. I'll talk to you about that as well. So in the first screen, uh, this control is gallery control, which is like a grid control. You have all your data listed. And what you want to do in the second screen where you have to show the detail, you have a form. And if you look at item property of this form, it's set to browse gallery one dot selected. So browse gallery one is the gallery on the first page. So in Power Apps, whatever gallery control you have, that is accessible everywhere from all the screens. So that's why for this gallery control, uh, which is browse gallery one, you can access the selected item from the second screen. And it's as simple as that. Um, if you go to individual items, you can see what items are there in the form. You can even change the order. So for example, drag and drop, and it will change in the, uh, it'll change in the, uh, uh, in the screen as well. Uh, if I want to switch the location of note and location, uh, you can easily do that. And that's it. And if you go to this, uh, on select event of this control, you see navigate to this screen, which is detail screen. That's where you have the form. And uh, that's it. Uh, that's all you need to do. This is the first and very simple way of to do that. The second way, uh, which many people prefer, if you don't want to use form and all that, I have just made copy of that same overview screen. But in this case, I have also created another detail screen uh, it's bad UI because I quickly put together for the demo. Uh, in this UI, I don't use a form, but if you look at these text boxes, they're coming from something called vacation request. So what is this vacation request? So vacation request is kind of an object, if you will, or context that I'm passing from this new overview screen to the new detail screen. So if you look closely, from these buttons, I have navigate to new detail. None is the way you navigate from another for one form to another. And the last one is kind of passing the context or passing the object. So vacation request is the context that I'm passing, which has the value of this item. So item that is selected. And this vacation request con context object is accessible in this screen. And that's how we are using it. So if we look at text property of this one, it says vacation request dot requester. And that's how it works. So these are very two very simple ways to accomplish it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.